Bristol Community College Bayhawks versus Springfield Technical Community College.
All right, I want to welcome in everybody to Bayhawks basketball, Lady Bayhawks basketball here at Bishop Conley High School, La France Gymnasium here in Fall River, Massachusetts. Lady Bayhawks down 13-8. How you doing, everybody? I'm David Cardoza, joined by Lucy Cabral, soon to be joined by the Portuguese Cowboy, Craig Salvador, here on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Happy Veterans Day, everybody. I want to apologize, everybody, for the audio delay for the audio difficulties. Better late than never. Glad we got it up and running. Glad we got someone like the great Lucy Cabral beside me. It's, high, it's higher than, yeah, it's higher than my pay grade. Jumper by number three, Jamie Staples, a returning sophomore, to make it 15 to eight. Still in the first quarter, fourth, Four and a half minutes left to play. Ball knocked, knocked out of bounds. Looked like it was going to be knocked out of bounds by Springfield, but it was knocked out of bounds by number 33. It was actually, uh, that's Iris. Iris Rivera wearing number 33. On the drive. That was number 22, McKenna Souza, and she'll go to the line. McKenna Souza sporting the nice aqua, turquoise, teal socks. It's one of those. First one counts. BCC comes in today's contest 0-2. They've lost their first two games. They lost their home opener on Thursday to the University of Connecticut at Avery Point, the Pointers. BCC looking to get their first victory of the year. We love these Saturday games. Nice, bright, nice, bright gym. Driving to a right, and it's going to be fouled. That was Casey Ember on the drive. She got fouled by number 22, McKenna Souza. Jumper, Amaral. No good. Deborah Banks is there to put it up and in. Deborah Banks with the offensive rebound. The board puts it up and in. The boss, 17 to 10. Nice ball movement there by Springfield Tech. Can't get it to go. Springfield Tech comes in today's contest. One and... 1-0, 2-1 in Region 21 play. If that makes sense. In the corner, McKenna Souza, a little floater, she gets it. McKenna Souza style, she got the black headband, she got the, the black tights with the blue socks, I don't understand that, but it matches the shoes, so. Three-pointer by Iris Rivera nails it. And BCC hanging in there in the, in the, first, in the first quarter. BCC's defense seems to be more alive in the 2-3 zone. Foul. And she gets it. I remember Jamie Staples from last year. She's a returning, she's a returning sophomore. And she had some pretty good games, I know, against the Bristol Bayhawks. She's one of the key contributors for Springfield Tech, the Rams. Coming out is Stephanie Start and Ashante Farden. Both free throws made there, 22 to 13. Jamie Staples makes both inside. Nice entry pass by Rivera. But Megan Perino couldn't connect. Well, dump it in the free throw line underneath. No good. Good defense by Deborah Banks. Oh. 
Harris drives to her left, puts up a jumper, no good. Rebound by Springfield Tech. Nice handle by Staples, and then the pass to number 12 there. That's Stephanie Starr. Short jumper from the elbow, no good. Rivera missed that one. 24 to 13. And they're going to call a travel. They're going to call a travel on number 22, McKenna Sousa. The Rams turn the ball over. Just getting warmed up here on the Saturday afternoon, 24 to 13. Your Lady Bayhawks trailing the Rams. Springfield Tech making that long two and a half hour drive. Jumper in the corner by Deborah Banks. Can't get it to go. Rams with the basketball. Staples the floor general to number 22, McKenna Souza. Three pointer is no good. And they're going to call a foul away from the ball. Looks like it's going to be on number 23. Aliyah Pinnell with a push off. It's going to be Bristol basketball, and they're going to shoot some free throws. BCC in the bonus. That's five team fouls on the Lady Rams. All right, if you're just joining us, it's 24 to 13. That free throw made by Iris Rivera. 24 to 14 now. 24 to 14. Springfield Tech with the lead. You're watching Lady Bayhawks basketball here on FR Media. This game is going to be followed by the men's Bayhawks team. Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Got the pass in. Nice. Nice pass and a lay in there by Aaliyah Pinnell. Three pointers. Ooh, looked like it was good. It was online, but it, it's an air ball. Staples from the elbow. Jumper. No good. Rebounded by Banks. Come on, Megan. What you want to do, Megan? Ooh, crossover dribble. Kicking it back out. She's going to get fouled on the pass. Iris Nina Rivera, freshman from Greater Regional Folk Tech High School in the Bedford, Massachusetts. She had a very good game on Thursday night. Was one of the top scorers for the Bayhawks. Her and Kaylee Oliver led the Bayhawks in scoring on Thursday. And they're, and they're both freshmen. So that was that was definitely good to see. Iris Rivera gets both free throws. BCC in that zone. Three-point shot. No good. Rams coach lobbying for over the back. It's still going to be Springfield basketball. Jumper at the free throw line. No good. Shantae Fraden couldn't get it to go. BCC in this one. Driving. Getting to the lane. Puts it up the glass and in. Silky smooth move there by Iris Rivera. Megan Parrish going link to the court. 
Dumps it in to Banks, but she had it ripped away by a shot they brought in. Oh, how'd that ball get there? Nice pass to number 15. Jenny Leesmar Rivera. God, I hope I'm not chopping these names up. Hell of a pass there. I don't know how it got there, but... It went just over the outreached hand of uh, Iris Rivera there. And Rivera, Rivera grabbed it and laid it up and in. It's a nice pass. 28 to 19 at the end of the first quarter. You're watching Bayhawks basketball. All right, happy Veterans Day to everybody. To all the veterans out there, for all that who have served. And we also want to remember all those who made the ultimate sacrifice and lost their lives. For all, the, for all the men and women that are serving that are serving right now for our great country, we want to thank you. God bless you for all that you do and continue to do. And God bless this great land of ours. Happy Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day to me, too. <laughs> Go Navy. to 19 as we kick off this second this second quarter on this lovely Saturday afternoon. We're in the France Gymnasium, Bishop Conley High School. Drive it to her right. Harris, she's gonna step on the line. Couldn't think of anything else better to do on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> I know after this I'm gonna go to Red Robin. <laughs> Get that free veterans meal. And Applebee's too. Applebee's, yeah. Applebee's chilies and driving to the hole. Putting up the glasses, a shot they farted. DCC can't let her get going. Cross court pass to Megan Parrish. Parrish, short jumper, no good. Banks goes up for the rebound, but then she gets it blocked by Farden. Long pass. Basket hanging is number 15. Oh, she can't get it to drop. BCC gonna watch out for Rivera. She's a basket hanger. She'll sneak out there. Thanks, okay, turns around. And she's gonna travel. Thanks had the thought. Sometimes she'll get that ball at the top of the key there and she'll turn around and just heave it. But this time she had the the wherewithal to make a little fake to smooth those feet. Staples gets it in the corner. Sousa for three. Too long. And Farden can't control of it. Can't control it. Loses it out of bounds. Still awaiting the arrival of the Portuguese cowboy. Should be making his presence felt any time now. Just a one-man show right now. Here's Megan Parrish in the corner. Banks puts it up. No good. Rebound by Jamie Staples. Boy, she's gritty. The general. Staples puts it in the corner. Sousa for three. Nails it. Every single time they have her wide open there on the wing. BCC got to do something about that. It's always Staples bringing the ball up, and then she swings it to Sousa. to her left, putting it up on the glass, no good. Gets her own rebound, Stick, sticking with it, Iris Amaro. Silky smooth. She's like deceptively silky smooth. Ooh, they try to dump it in, it's gonna be a loose ball though. Staples thought about it. Too many people wide open. Rebound by Rivera, boy they're lucky there. Megan Butler had an open look. She just couldn't connect. They're gonna call a foul there on the, on the crossover dribble. Jenny, Lis Jenny Lismar Rivera. <laughs> Stephanie Start will come in, along with Alina Panel. Number 15, Jenny Lismar Rivera will come out.
CCC with a short bench. Loose ball. CCC. Two kills with the basketball there. There's Jenny Staples. Jamie Staples. CCC in that zone. Finally, they get to Susan. And they're going to call a three second violation on the ramps. Offensive three seconds. Only one team foul, and it belongs to the Rams. Harris brings it over the timeline. Dumping it in. Banks gets it blocked. Going for the little hook there. But she get it blocked by Caitlin Hulk, freshman center. Falk now in the game. Caitlin Falk, freshman center. Deborah Banks giving up a little bit of size there. By a few inches. And more uncertainty. Well, it's a little break in the action. <laughs> Well, it's 33 to 21, 6.23 left to play here in the first half. BCC hanging in there despite not having a bench. Only five players today, it seems like. Short bench for BCC here today. BCC missing Megan Perino, and now we get a full timeout here on the court, 33 to 21. Are you a sports fan? You like the local sport? You like to watch the local sports teams? Are you a fan of the Patriots, the Bruins, the uh, the Red Sox, the Celtics? Well, listen to the Dirty Water Sports Hour. The Dirty Water Sports Hour is going to make its triumphant return. Check your local listings. If you would like to simulcast, you can hear us on bccradio.org. On Thursday evenings, you can listen to us live on Thursday evenings at 4 p.m. And you can listen to us the week after Thanksgiving. Check your local listings. Look for the Dirty Water Sports Hour. I'm sure you may have seen it before. The new and improved Dirty Water Sports Hour. Revitalized, resurrected, revamped. It's going to be the C team of Cardoza. The Portuguese Cowboy, Craig Salvador, and Lucy Cabral. Check out the listings, but you can listen to us on Thursdays live on bccradio.org at 4 p.m. Or you can listen to the rebroadcast at 7 p.m. on Thursdays on bccradio.org. Or if you want to see our little faces, check the local listings, and you can see the simulcast. <laughs> That's it. Check out our Facebook page, Dirty Water Sports Hour, on Facebook. 33 to 21, the Rams. Quiet gym right now. Deborah Banks. Ooh, thinking about the three, Iris Rivera. Ooh, nice dish. Oh, they call it travel. I wouldn't have called that. Vera had the right idea, I made a little drive. She got a nice little crossover dribble, and then she gives a little shovel pass to Banks. Jumper, no good. It's gonna be BCC basketball, it's gonna be off the Rams. Looked like that might have been off Souza, McKenna Souza, number 22. Six minutes to play in the first half. Harris pulls it for three and nails it. Megan for three. 33 to 24. Single digit lead now. Staples drives to her right. Oh, that one at the bottom of the backboard. 
pushing it up is Megan Parrish. Parrish in the lane, puts it up. Oh, no foul. And now fighting for the basketball is Banks. And number 12, Stephanie Stark. Previous play, Stephanie Stark drove baseline, had a nice drive there, but she got stuck underneath the basket. Good defense by Deborah Banks, too. Here's Jamie Staples with the basketball. Loose ball. Ooh, three. No, good. Hulk, the center with a three, no good. It was Megan Parrish. Cross court pass. Iris Rivera for three. No good. Rebound by Banks. Tough rebound. Puts it about the glass and in. That's what I like to see. The boss. Deborah Banks showing a lot more athleticism than she did last year. Than she, than she had last year. That's just a. That just goes to show her hard work and determination. And a lot more, she got a lot more lift in those legs. Harris, oh! Harris had a clear lane to the basket and she lost it off her foot. But BCC has climbed back into this one. It was 33 to 21 just a few minutes ago. They're on a five nothing run now, finding themselves down seven. Here in the first half. BCC in their two three zone. Gonna get out there and guard the perimeter. Taken away. Taken away by Iris Rivera. Bounce pass to Banks. Banks puts it up calmly. Can't get it to a roll. Oh, goodness gracious. Deborah Banks had an easy bunny. Couldn't, couldn't get it to drop. Too hard. Driving to the hole. No good. This is definitely a winnable game for BCC. Both teams kind of playing at the, kind of both playing at the same pace. Sousa will drop it in. Oh, nice defensive play there. I don't know what, I don't know what Aaliyah Pana was doing there. BCC comes up with the basketball. Bounce it in, Banks. Ooh. No foul, come on now. Oh, dropping it in out of nowhere. It's Casey, Am it's Casey Amaral. I'm sorry, Megan Perino. Turning around in the paint, no good. The Rams getting cold here. Ashante Farden. Yeah, nice little drop, a nice little Oh, goodness, off the, off the inbound. Aaliyah Panel puts it about the glass and in. Ending the BCC run. Deborah Banks, jump shot, no good. Gonna put a little bit more oomph in that. Need a little bit more legs in that. There's Jamie Staples. I like the way she controls the game. Gonna call travel. I'm gonna call Stephanie Stott with the travel. 35 to 28, 240 left to play in the first half from Bishop Conley High School in Fall River. Conley oh. Parrish in the corner. Banks gonna keep shooting. Can't get it to drop. Perino try to save it, but he goes right into the hands of the Rams and Jamie Staples. Staples looking to push, drive it to the lane, and they're gonna call the blocking foul. I'm gonna call a foul on Megan Parrish. And that's gonna be her first. BCC without a bench today. Inbound pass. Jumper no good. Stephanie Stark with the miss. Rivera with the basketball. Long pass. Oh. Picked off by Staples. Rivera had the thought, but just a bad pass. Driving into the lane, puts it up off the, puts it up and no good, but Staples will go to the line. Only the second team foul for the Bayhawks. The Rams only with one team foul, so we haven't seen too many free throw opportunities. 
Staples drains the first one. 36 to 28. BCC has trailed the whole first half, but they're right in there. That second free throw just pops out. Couldn't get it to drop. Oh, Megan Parrish couldn't get it there. Loose basketball. Three pointer. Rivera, no good. Banks with the rebound. Banks powers up and gets it to go. Great job, great effort by Banks. Sneak it in there and puts it up and in. Three pointer, Megan Souza. No good. Rebounded by Megan Perino. They're going to get it inside. Banks. Knocked out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds by Farden. That's going to stay BCC basketball. 119 up to play. Inbounding Rivera. Nice. Gets it into Banks. Up fake. No good. Rivera's there. And they're going to call a foul on Rivera on the rebound. I love the effort I'm seeing from the Lady Bayhawks today. Much better than Thursday. You see much more engaged. Much more intense today. They drop it in. Number 23. No good. Rams getting a lot of looks. Harris, oh, loses it to Staples. Staples up to Farden. Farden puts it up off the glass. Wildly, no good. Rebounded by Banks. Megan Perino in the corner. No good. Had an open look there, just couldn't connect. Here's Staples, doesn't have the numbers. Pulls it back behind her back, looking like Steph Curry over here, no good. Nice, pretty move there by Jamie Staples to get her, to get her shot off, but just couldn't get it to drop. I like her game. I like the patience that BCC is showing today. Cross-court pass to Rivera. Parrish puts it up and drains it. Nice dribble drive to by Paris getting it into the, getting into the lane and dropping the dime. That's a buzzer for the first half. No good. Good first half by BCC. Welcome everybody back to Bishop Conley High School here in Fall River, Massachusetts, La France Gymnasium, where the Lady Bayhawks trail the Springfield Tech Springfield Technical Community College. Rams, 36 to 32. Very, it's like the tail of, it's almost like the tail of two halves. It seemed like uh, the Rams control the first part of the first half, but the last five or six minutes or so, BCC came and started to crawl back into this one after, after trailing as much, as being down as much as 12, 14 points. BCC crawled back into this one, has made it a four point lead. It was 36, it was 33 to 21 about midway through the second quarter and BCC went on a little bit of a run there. And the Rams, the basket just closed to the Rams. They could not hit anything in the, in the latter portion of that second quarter. So right now, BCC trails by four on the Saturday afternoon, Veterans Day. Here in the first part of a doubleheader, the men's, the men's Bayhawks team, who has started off guns a-blazing. They had a huge victory on Thursday night against the University of Connecticut at Avery Point Pointers. What a game that was. BCC, the men's team, comes into today's game. 2-0. Oh. So stay tuned. Check your local listings. Following this game will be uh, the BCC men's Bayhawks team. Try to, try to go to 3-0. They'll face the men's Springfield team. And the second half is... Underway. Megan Perino can't get it. Second chance opportunity. The third time is a charm. And number 30, that was uh, Miss Iris Rivera. And BCC is down by two. Deep three pointer by Sousa, no good. Rebounded and put back. By number 13, Megan 
Butler. Hi, I'm David Canoza with uh, Miss Lisa Cabral. We are now joined the man who's making his presence known right now, Mr. Craig Salvador, the Portuguese cowboy, has made his way in. Oh, yeah, sorry, a little tardy to the party. Too busy uh, on Saturdays hosting a uh, radio show. So, yeah, just coming back from that, Four Deep Sports Talk. It is a uh, is on Saturdays at 12. I'm out of breath just climbing these stairs. Jeez. <laughs> now I know how you feel. Yep, so if you want to fill me in uh, what's been going on in this game, I see it's a close one today. Yeah, well, actually, the, um, the Rams... The Rams had a lead about 33 to 21. They were they were up by 12, as much as 14 points at one point. But BCC crawled into it in the latter portion of the first half in the second quarter, and has uh, really really had a good um really had a good show in here today. They've been playing, you know, um, they've been slowing it down. They're not getting they're not getting outrun in this one. Both teams have a real slow, methodical pace about them, and BCC's playing with more patience. And uh, the boss Deborah Banks is showing herself, and Ira Severa has been has done really well too. How's their defense been? Because we remember we were talking about that was really their uh, where they really needed to improve. Oh, Iris put up a three. Pointer, it's good. And I, was, I was talking about how silky smooth Iris Severa is. She's like deceptively silky smooth. She had a great showing last game. Definitely uh, one you wouldn't expect really to shoot threes. Um, as she's definitely she's their center, so. It's definitely interesting being able to do that. Harris stops and pops. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by number 15. Good at least by Rivera. Two on one. Staples back to Rivera. Can't get it to drop. Oh, that is the Jamie Staples. Remember, she had a big game last year against us. Yes, we were talking about that. Rebound and put it back in by Rivera. Up the miss from Parrish. And just like that, it's a high game. I've been here. I've been here for about two minutes this game, already impressed with Iris Rivera. Iris Rivera won the lead scorers from the last game on Thursday against Avery Point. Driving in the lane, Jamie Staples, the general. The yeah, if you remember Iris Rivera, she dropped over 20 points in the last game. Harris with the miss. Well, I was talking to Coach Serge Moniz earlier in the weekend. He did say that Iris and Rivera who went to his alma mater at Folk Tech High School in New Bedford, Massachusetts. He recruited her and said that she's going to be, that she's a good shooter and that he expects her to be one of the key contributors to BCC without any events today. Instead of just playing with the five women on the on the court. Staples gets in the corner, Megan Souza. Oh, stole by Parrish. Being sailed by Staples. Parrish to the hole, lift it up and in. And that is the Megan Parrish you wanted to see last game. But Megan Parrish hit a three earlier. At the, end, at the end of the second half, had a, couple, had a couple drives to the basket, looking better offensively. Souza, jumper, no good. Even the jumper didn't go. Look at the pass from Jamie Staples going behind the head. I'm too short. I'm probably as, I'm probably about as tall as the girls on the court right now. Oh yeah, I got I got leap. I got a little bounce in my step. Can you hear me in your headset? Yeah, no, I can't hear you, but you can hear me. That's right. Oh, it's reversed today. Yeah. It's okay, you talk loud enough for me to hear. Wow, looking like Tom Brady on that throw. <laughs> I love any comparisons to Tom Brady. That was a nice pass by Parrish. Jumper Banks couldn't hold on to it. It was incomplete, but BCC is going to keep it here underneath their own basket with 7 11 left to play in the third quarter. Banks, nice move. But had it, had it blocked. Had it blocked there by Paul. Souza bringing it up. Susan with the nifty socks. Gets it in the corner. Staples, Banks. And she's going to call her for travel. Too many steps. And yes, I do remember last, um, last year's break. Jamie Staples being impressed with her. She had a little nifty move earlier. She went like around the, she was driving to the basket, went around her back and like brought it back outside the three point line. Yeah, we saw uh, just a few plays ago. I had talked about it. it was a missed three, but she had that nice behind the back or behind her head pass, really. I call the general. The general. She leads the charge, definitely. Yeah. Oh, nice bounce pass. Can't get it to drop. Oh, 
41 to 41. We're deadlocked on the Saturday afternoon. Bright sunny day. We like these Saturday afternoon games. Couldn't think of anything else better to do than call Bayhawks basketball. Yep, super cold yesterday. It's starting to get better out a little bit today. Still jacket weather though. Sweat of weather. Sweat of weather. Oh, gets it inside. They're gonna call steps. A lot of travel calls on STCC. They're gonna call that. They're gonna call that travel on the Leah panel. And both teams, Craig, really both staying out of foul trouble. We haven't seen too many free throw attempts. Both teams kind of mirror each other. Kind of slow, methodical pace, dribbling the ball up the court. Again, BCC being more patient with the basketball. Seeing a lot more motion in their offense. That's definitely a good thing to see. You know, BCC. Oh, Barrow puts it up off the left with the left hand off the glass and in. Well, that's a great way to find open space and just drive to the hoop. And as I was saying, we, uh, we had talked about BCC kind of struggled the last two games. So it's good to see that they're really, uh, even with just five women on the court, they're really establishing themselves, playing good basketball today. Corner staples, no good. Rebounded by Rivera. Boy, she does everything. She's, she's, I'm going to call it right now. Iris Rivera is going to average a double-double by the end of the season. She does like you do it. She's on the boards. She's taking the ball to the basket. She's shooting the ball, she's shooting the ball effectively from behind the arc. And she can pass. Yeah. Might see a couple trip dubs every once in a while. Here's Pope from the elbow, jumper, no good, way off. I don't know if you could call that a jumper, it was kind of flat-footed. <laughs> Trying to give her some credit. Nice <laughs> entry pass by Rivera, Banks. Oh, she's going to draw the foul on that. The only thing that hurts Deborah Banks playing inside is just her lack of, lack of height. She's often going against players that are bigger than her, taller than her. But Deborah's doing a lot, she's doing a good job underneath them of getting that basketball, knowing her whereabouts, and making, making the necessary up fakes when she has to. And showing a lot more lift in those legs. Missing the first free throw there is Deborah Banks. A lot better game for her today. Second free throw can't connect. Rivera's right. there for the rebound. Rivera's gonna draw the foul this time. doing a lot better job on the um, on the offensive boards, Greg. And once they get that offensive rebound, they're not going directly up with it. They're, they're using their fake, they're using their body, using their head, and they're drawing these fouls. Yeah, I was just going to say, a couple good instances right now, being able to draw some fouls, get to the line. Yeah. It's about knowing where you are on the court, getting that rebound, and just using the up, using the up fake. And both free throws are made. By Iris Rivera, and just like that, BCC has a 45 to 41 lead. And the coach, the STCC coach, calling the timeout. We have a timeout on the floor, 45 to 41. Again, it's Cardoza and, and Craig and Cabral. On the call, and just like that. Oh, Sean, Sean on the camera work now. Okay. <laughs> we have a lot of moving parts. Yes. Okay. On the camera work, we have BCC intern Sean. Sean Michaels? It's the heartbreak kid. All right. So, anyways, 45 to 41. This is broadcast live here. Not well, You'll catch this on tape. 45 to 41, 539 left to play here in Florida. All right, we're back here at Bishop Conley High School here in Fall River, Massachusetts, the France Gymnasium, and the BCC Lady Bayhawks with the lead, 45 to 41. Cardozo and Salvador here on the call. Um, BCC trying to get a steal. Looks like she got tripped up a bit, but they're going to call steps on her. They like to call steps. They've had several travel calls on them today. Stephanie Stark. Call her for steps. A 
dump it in. Here's Deborah Banks. Back up to Parrish. Into Perino. Banks, nice little ball movement there. But losing the basketball. Back up Jamie Staples. Is she going to pass or drive? Driving all the way, but she'll lose it out of bounds. But they're going to say it's off PCC, and they'll keep it right here. See the movement. Inbound pass left away by Parrish. Get it to go. Banks making her present step. Just a oh. Rivera looking up. Nice pass to Parrish. The dish. Ball loose. Yeah, Parrish had nowhere to go as soon as she got the ball. She just got swarmed. Quick turnover, though. Here comes Reagan. Crossover dribble. Gets it in the lane. Oh, they should have been, been a foul. Iris Rivera is there to clean up the. Rivera there to do the dirty work, pushing up and in, 47-41. Yep, a great effort by Megan Parrish, but it's a good thing Iris Rivera was there to pick up the pieces. Yep, so. She's doing a pretty good job with that zone today. Cut her! Oh, another travel. Looks like she got stuck there on the dribble. And Staples is upset with that one. Yeah, I think the ball got stuck on someone there, and her feet, her feet kept moving, but... Yeah, she got... She got the shot to go off, but uh, yeah, it is how the way works. 47 to 41. Springfield in a 1 2 2 defense. Jeffrey Banks turns around from the elbow. Oh, couldn't get it to drop. Staples with the rebound. Always looking to push. Eyes up court. Round the back. Get stuck. Jumper in the corner. Guy Rivera. Oh. Ball's lost out of bounds, but it's going to be off BCC. Yeah, we're going to stay on Rams' ball. It went off of Megan Perino. Kind of just went off the shoulder. She didn't see where it was and just rolled out of bounds. Good job of seeing that. I did not see that. Who it went off. Souza to inbound. Gets it inside. A little floater. Nice. Floater and he goes in. Yeah, four-point game. Less than four minutes in this third quarter. All BCC in this third quarter, though. Megan Paris for three. Can't get it to drop. They don't have the rebound. But she has a nifty dribbler. A wide open shot. Butler in the corner, no good. Sousa in the paint, puts it in. Sousa found herself all alone in the paint. Drops it in from about six feet. Now the Rams drill by two. Oh, that was travel. Yep. Looks like she was the one to run to the basket. <laughs> I mean, hey, if Russell Westbrook can get away with it, why can't we? <laughs> you see NBA, you see the, uh, the logo anywhere up there? <laughs> see Jerry West up there? Uh, can't let her get that ball in the paint. Pano misses. Make a bubble there for two. And it's a tie game now, 47-47. Yeah, the Rams going on a little bit of a run, run here. 6-0 run. Bounce pass in. Banks powers her way in, and another ball stuck. Craig, go get is, that. Is this a regular event? Is this, is this happening more often now? Well, the hey, the ref's got some bounce in his step. Yes, he does. See him straight up posterize some people here. Timeout STCC. STCC. Letters. I keep, uh... I'm thinking I'm saying too many CCs, but anyway, 47 to 47. Oh, just wait till we play uh, Cape Cod Community College. Oh, that's easy. That's, so, four, that's four Cs. Yeah, four Cs. That's always just four Cs. And they don't have a basketball team. Don't they? No, they don't have a Could have sworn we played them last year. No. <laughs> huh. They never had a team. I don't know why. <laughs> Anyways, 47 to 47. The Bayhawks are, they're in this one. They're grinding out. They're grinding it with only five players. No bench. Yeah, that's where the zone defense really helps out. Zone defense not that too much last time, Greg. The defense just seems to be in, in better in better position. All right, so we'll keep it, we'll keep it here right on the court.
Souza dumps it in. Butler. Back to Souza. Jumper. Can't get it to go. Not a jumper, but more of a leaner. Staples on the drive. No good. Oh, nice little pass. And another travel. Haven't they done enough travel today? Three hours, like a three hour trip up here to, to Fall River. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Again, good job just finding open space, creating space. Easy layup. Loose ball. Sanks wants it to go her way. She wants it to go Fall River's way. BCC way. Iris! Iris! Minute 39 left to play in the third quarter. Loose it to inbound. Kickball. And the kickball on BCC will stay right here. BCC. Looking for their first win of the season. Up by two. Watch that one sneaking in, man. Jump it in. Turn around. No good. No foul on Deborah Banks. It was only BCC's second team foul of the half. Yeah, both teams aren't in foul trouble. So it's Deborah Banks' third personal. BCC can't afford to be in foul trouble with only five players. I'm missing Kaylee Oliver. I'm not sure of it where In the lane. Short jump. Oh, what a block. What a block by Farden. Tied is going on. Farden. Lost the basketball. Megan Butler is there. No good. Sousa with the putback. That was like a rebound and an immediate steal. Tony, BCC just playing with more life today. And we've seen them play with more life in the second half of the last game, so they're continuing that momentum. DJ, keep working. Keep working. Pass. Nice steal. Rivera comes up with it. And Parrish is off to the races. Kicks it to Megan Parrish in the, in the corner. No good. Deborah Banks with the putback. No good. But she'll go to the line. Deborah Banks doing a lot, a lot better job on the offensive boards today. BCC doing a lot better job on the boards today. Period. Hits the first one. Just gonna put a little bit more oomph, bend those knees, get a little bit more spring in those legs. And she drains both of them. Do some calves on it. I envy those calves. <laughs> Going to be team foul number five for the Rams. Hey, I was going to say it was. I know it wasn't on the shot because she started to drive. So yes, team foul number five. BCC in the bonus. Front end. Front end of a one on one is made. Right. She got such a silky smooth shot. Yeah, Rive Rivera doing an excellent job from the free throw line. Shot clock is off. It's like the Rams want to hold for the last shot, but they, they won't do that. Oh, Banks with the interception. Now it's going to be BCC playing for the last shot. Look at Rivera, a little behind the back action. She just does it all. Good 
Look, she's gonna take this Get shot too. Drains it! Drains it! She rebounds, she passes, she shoots foul shots, she shoots three, she just does everything. She just did that so calmly and so smoothly. 56 to 51. Wow. With only, only five women on the court, ice water and Iris's veins. <laughs> Ain't no doubt about that. They kick it back out to Iris Rivera for three, and just like that, it's 56 to 51. Bayhawks have the lead as we go into the final quarter. We, we welcome we back, everybody. The start of the fourth quarter here at Bishop Holmes High School, the France Gymnasium here in good old Fall River, Massachusetts. The Bristol Community College Lady Bayhawks a 56 to 51 lead over Springfield oh, right now. Man. Jennifer Banks, corner jumper, no good. She man. can't make it, she's not hitting that shot. Harris with the steal. Torino oh, gets in there, nice hustle. She's going to the line. Go to the line. How did she manage that? I was going to say, you love that you, you found out this place is called La France Gymnasium. Shot's off, so she misses our first one. Jennifer Banks has had several chances with these corner 15-foot jumpers. Connect on a couple more of those. She's got, she's got the look. She's got the open look. Oh, get into the passing lane. It's Rivera. Rivera going all the way to the lane. Puts it up off the glass. No good. A little miscue. Both Parrish and Banks went up for the rebound. Just kind of collided with each other. Let the ball roll out of bounds. Unfortunate, but I mean, nice job by. Iris Rivera getting into the passing lane, taking it, taking it into the lane, just couldn't get it to drop this time. But BCC has a 57 to 51 lead. Going down passing the paint, almost taken away. Oh, loose balls. Open three, no good. All right, they're going to call traffic and a call travel as she went to the ground. Thought there was some contact here, but nonetheless, BCC basketball. Farden couldn't, uh, number 21, Ashante Farden couldn't keep her footing. Oh, airmailed that one. Field out of bounds. And Megan Paris like, what did I just do? But just a little like, oops. Just kind of sailed, just kind of sailed on it. Yep. No, fun fact, Casey Amaral is not 7 foot 11. <laughs> and jump ball, Megan Parrish limping a little. She came down hard on her knees. Can't afford to lose her right now with no, with no one on that bench. Six point lead. And dump it into Farden. And call a foul on Casey Amaral. That's just her first. Two on the home team now. Driving. And they call an offensive foul. Oh, yeah. She was driving to the hole using that left arm trying to push off. This starts to wind up. Men's team leaving, getting ready for their game right after this. Yeah, should be a good one. Never banks at the free throw line. Nice up fake. Put, oh, man. She knows she, she, knows she had one there. Here's Jamie Staples, the general, driving. Puts it up, and she will go to the line. Great effort there by Jamie Staples. And she had four of the five Bayhawks right on her trying to put up that shot. I like the way she manufactures her way to the hole. What is up with the, you see it more now in college basketball and in basketball period, the tights under the shorts. Uh, you don't want to get 
Uh, so if you slide, you don't want to get, like, tile burn. Like, you're going... What? You ever get tile burn on your legs? We really, we really do live in a soft world. Now these kids nowadays, they don't want to get in the tile burn. Or like, burn? no, you get floor burn, yeah. Burn. I said tile. Tile burn. Yeah. Harris will be open three, no good. Iris or Harris there, no one blocks her out as she puts it up and in. Little Vera, tearing it up here. Sousa, cross court pass to Pulp, drops it in to Elena Pano, and she loses out of bounds. See, so if you look on number 53's uh, tight, she actually has uh, knee pads on them. Like they're 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 built into the tight, so it gives her a little cushion if she has to drop down. I don't like that look. I don't like that look from the vanity side of it. Harris bounce pass to Emerald. The jumper, no good. Here come the Rams, down six. It's Jamie Staples time. Staples gets it inside. Turn around. A little hook. Hits the bounce. Shot they parted. Drops that one. She could do that any time. She just hasn't done it. Oh, Barty with the block. Parrish going into the lane, fearless. And she'll go to the line for two, and she's starting to favor that, starting to favor that hip again, or that leg again. She's been taking some hard shots in this game. You know, she's not afraid to put her body on the line. She might have been, that's for sure. Megan Paris goes to the hole is fearless. Looks like she might have been favoring the lower back there too. Tough to tell. But she's tough as nails. First free throw. Missed by Megan Parrish. Still feeling the effects of that contact there. Parrish spins it, puts it up. Range the second one. And Serge Moniz will call a timeout for his Bayhawks. Is Lady Bayhawks up 60 to 55, looking for their first win of the season here, <laughs> here at La France Gymnasium. Lucy already beginning to celebrate. Can't celebrate yet, though. There's still a lot of basketball to go. <laughs> oh, it's only a two possession game, still seven minutes remaining. Yeah, there's a lot of time to play. 60 to 55. Bayhawks with the lead. And both teams not looking to let up yet. Changing the world learner by learner because Bristol. Hard to believe it's uh, hard to believe it's basketball season, college basketball season underway this week. Already on the third game. Hmm. Yeah, it comes by quick. Yeah, BCC men's team, Bristol Community College men's men's basketball team. On following this, going against the Springfield Technical Community College men's basketball team. The BCC men's team with an impressive performance on on uh, Thursday night, blowing out Connecticut at every point. BCC comes into today's contest two and zero, ranked number third in the ranked rank number third in Region Twenty One. Looking forward to watching them play. Staples in the corner. Butler gets it inside to Farden. Way off. Rebound by Rivera. Harris Rivera. Diamond to her left is Megan Parrish. Oh, had that block by Farden. Staples comes away with it. Parrish with the, with the loose ball. Going to the lane. Can't get it to go. Deborah Banks is there. Banks puts it up and she's going to get fouled. Deborah Banks doing the dirty work. Showing who's boss. <laughs> She's been doing more of that today than she did in the last game when we seen her. She's been more effective down there on the offensive boards and getting down there doing the gritty, dirty work, getting to the line. Yeah, she's been doing a good job drawing fouls. She sure has. Doing a good job on getting on the boards. Making her presence felt in the interior. 
Yep. As you said, BCC doing a lot better on the offensive boards. Staples in the corner to Butler, way off. Fumbling and doubling over there. So we have Daniel's laws of foul. And open with 6.27 remaining. That is going to be Deborah Banks' fourth. Actually, it might be her fifth. I think they might be saying it's her fifth. I thought she still had one more to give. Now it gets interesting. Now with four players. You have to know losing a key player at that. Definitely one of your key players, one of your key. Definitely one of your key contributing players in last year, Deborah Banks. Goes to the sideline, serves Moniz and call a much needed, much timely timeout. And there's going to be a timeout on the floor, 62 to 56. So we'll see how BCC handles this with four players. And they have a lead, so we'll see if they can cling on to this lead. And both teams now with four fouls. So one more foul for each team, and both teams will be in the bonus. They'll be in the one and one. So 62 to 56, with 626 left to play here from Fall River. We'll bring it back to you after this. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're bringing it back here to you. BCC basketball up six. 6.26 to play. A little pressure by Durant. Parrish. They're not saying she was out of bounds. Not sure what was going on there. Staples up to Sousa. Puts it up and in. This is really where the Rams are going to try to take advantage. They're playing pressure. They know that BCC is down a person. They want to get the ball quick. They have Farden down there, down low in case for a rebound. And they're just really trying to pressure BCC, try to take this lead back with them only having four players. doesn't matter, though. As long as BCC is aggressive on the offensive end, Craig, both teams are in, both teams are in jeopardy. Both teams are in foul trouble, so... If BCC just remains aggressive on the offensive end, they got to keep scoring. That's the whole thing. Got to keep scoring. Got to keep being aggressive. Second free throw was missed. And you got to make your free throws. Sousa. And Butler. Got to put the ball to the floor before you start stepping. Hey, hey, sweet, Butler's going to be called for the crowd. I'd open to Iris. Iris has no one on her. She's going to drain the shot clock. Shot clock's not even going down. Keep doing her thing. Iris from the elbow. Jumper bounces off. Rebound by Farden. She's going to get back on defense. Oh, Staples with a nice pass. Perino with the block. Harris bounce pass to Perino. And travel going down. I swear, every time Megan Perino gets the basketball, it's like, it's like her hand on like a big giant bar. Of salt. <laughs> and finally, Serge Monique is showing some emotion. Here's Jamie Staples. Staples, crossover triple, goes baseline, puts it up off the glass. Good general. James Staples has to lead to three, five minutes of the play. Iris trying to go right through everybody. She's going to get fouled and she's going to go to the line. Yep, five minutes remaining, trying to make it a two possession game. Now, Iris Rivera, another person who's been doing a good job of drawing fouls. We've talked about her free throwing ability. Bad example. <laughs> you jinxed her. That's what I do. Second free throw was made. See, it's because I didn't say anything that time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ooh, 
driving. Even, even slipping her way into the lane and getting a contact with Jamie Staples. I'm a fan. Foul goes to Megan Parrish. That's her third of the game. I think I said this last year. Can we get a trade for Jamie Staples? Yeah, you, did, you definitely did say that last year. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. You're trying to get her as a transfer. I want to get her as a transfer. Can we make a trade? Like, like 2K? 2K? <laughs> I don't know. What's Jamie Staples' 2K rating? Like a, like a low 80s. She can shoot way more. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, she does. 64 to 62. Parrish goes down. She needs some help. Great job to keep the dribble there. And a timeout call. Yeah, Meg Megan Parrish just needed help. She had no help right there. Great job of her to keep her dribble and not travel. We've seen that before, but I think it was Coach Serge Moniz that, that, that called the timeout. Not sure if Megan Parrish did, I think Coach Moniz did, but anyway, 64 to 62. Gotta be tough when you have a limited bench right now. You're down to four players. You know, you lose Deborah Banks with six, with a little bit over six minutes left to play, which is a lot of time. And the way that BCC has played in this game, they definitely deserve to win. And now you're now you're only playing with four players. It would just be sad to see them lose this game, the effort that they've given here today. And I know if they've had all five players, they would definitely win this game. It's definitely, um, you know, definitely would be uh, disappointing to see them lose this game because you don't have anybody on your bench. No, definitely, but the players they do have definitely shown heart in this game. Why don't you get up there, Craig? <laughs> Phenomenal one. I don't have the long hair anymore. <laughs> 64 to 62, 436 left to play in the fourth quarter. Phenomenal one, I like that though. <laughs> Parrish, the floater, no good. Uh, looking up, nice pass by Staples. <laughs> to the basket hanging. And that is going to tie this game. Basket hanging with Vera, so that's what she does best with the basket hang. Starting to get rowdy in here. Oh, Megan Parrish almost lost it. BCC just needs to chill. Just chill. You got this. Shot clock's winding down. They got less than 10. Oh, that was a nice block. Block, close block by Pano. Staples making her way around Perino now to Parrish. Going tougher in the lane. No good. Nice job by Megan Parrish to get the rebound. Parrish kicks it back out. Oh, he should have. Ugh. Opportunity. Now Parrish gonna put it up. No good. Rebound by Butler. I've been waiting all year for one of your Megan calls. Did you get one earlier? Yeah, I did. Aw, oh, dang. She hit a three. 64 to 64, Craig. I don't know. And Staples going back to the line. If they lose, you can blame it on Lucy because she gave it. Yeah, she had a little, uh, little, seven, prema little seven premature ce celebration. <laughs> seven minutes left. Yeah. Lucy, we're Boston people. We never celebrate until after we win. Not over yet. True. Jamie Staples. Calmly sits both free throws. I got like five minutes into the Celtics game yesterday and I switched the Bruins. Hey, they were... Hey, Kyrie got hurt and they were losing like 48 to like 22 at like the second quarter. Staples looks up, finds the basket hanger Rivera. Wow, she saved it. Yeah, saved it, but we're right to the Bayhawks. BCC only trailing by two. Three point shot, Rivera, no good. She gets her own rebound. Gets her own rebound, gets it to the paint. No foul. She gets her own rebound again. Putting it back up. No foul call. Nope, third time is not the charm and no one is on defense. She's gonna get back. Oh, Sonia Harshall cherry picking at that, but hey, they're just going to give it to her. She's going to take it. I'm not sure what Casey Emerald is. Is Casey Emerald okay? It looks like she's 
looked like she's. What was she doing? She, she did not try to do anything there on defense to try to get back there on defense. I don't know. She might have been hanging back trying to be open for a shot, but, you know, Rams just got the rebound and there's just no one on defense. She was the play, though. It looked like she was, like, sludging in mud like she couldn't get to there. BCC, 68 to 64. You know, you're only down four now. Just kind of keep playing the way that you were playing. You know, there's no, no need to panic. 68 to 64. Under three minutes to play. A lot of time left. A lot of time left. You have the basketball. Under three minutes to play. You know, can't panic. Play, play within yourself. Springfield is putting the pressure on. Oh, Rivera. Rivera just finds her way. Oh, gets it knocked away by Gordon. She can't get the block. Gordon leaving the break. Gordon going to the hole, but can't get it to drop. And then Paris is followed by Jamie Staples. I would love to see a backcourt with Jamie Staples and Megan Paris. <laughs> Harris played off the ball. Shooting guard. But that's only in my mind. That's only in my imagination. <laughs> Harris at the line. Just get them for your Region 21 fantasy team. Big free throw there by Megan Harris. She cut it to a two point lead. 2.34 left to play. Both teams in foul trouble. I mean, both teams are in the bonus now. In Lane's turn. Harris hit both free throws. A lot of time left. Down by two. If you're, if you're just joining us right now, or if you've been with us, don't go away. This is going to go right down to the final belt, to the final buzzer. Well, this is when they need to get a stop, a steal, a rebound, or something. Gets it up. No good. Free throw by Rivera. PCC with a chance to tie it. Megan Parrish going coast to coast on the other side. They're going to give it to Perino instead. Perino, jumper. Oh. Almost had it. That would have been a big shot. We saw Perino, she was hustling back on defense, didn't try to get a rebound. Nice defensive play. Rivera swatted it and grabbed it. Parrish, fake, drive, gets it to the lane. Are we not calling any fouls? No, Farden with another block. We've been seeing that from her all game. in the corner, Megan Butler, the jumper, bounces up and in. 70 to 66. Camera, oh what a block. Caught it, not even leaving her feet, just like get that out of there. It's a Decambian Matumbo block. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Name rhymes with Harden, but she doesn't play like Harden, she plays defense. That was just all hand. That was just all a slap. Oh, no. oh, she didn't step out of bounds. Are you kidding me? What a pass by Staples. And they're going to call that foul on Parrish. So they're calling the fouls against us, but not for us. Tough. Tough break. Since Deborah Banks has gone out of the game, Craig. BCC has seen this whole thing go downhill. And with a minute and a half left, that is Megan Parrish's fourth, so she's one away from also being out of this game. BCC had a six-point lead with 6.26 left to play when Deborah Banks went out of the game after she fouled out. Nope. Both free throws missed it. Yeah, Rivera missing both of them. Now it's the other Rivera, our Rivera, driving down the court. Our Rivera to the hole, puts it above the glass, and gets it to drop. The better Rivera. Iris Rivera, the better Rivera. Here comes Sousa, gets it to the lane. Floater, lay up the glass. And they're gonna call a foul, and it's gonna be on Perino if he slams the floor. I'm not sure. Sousa kind of hurled her way into the lane. Obviously, Perino didn't have position. And 
Souza has a chance to extend the lead, 70 to 68. Now she's trying to make it a two possession game in the final minute. Got the first one. Suze is a good shooter. She makes the first one to give it a three point lead. This one to make it a two possession game, and she does that. BCC trying to act fast on offense. Here's Parrish. Iris Rivera to Parrish. Parrish. Kicks it back out. Amaral, jumper. Two pointer, oh, no good. Too much. Oh, and there it is. And there's the foul, and they're going to call it on Megan Butler. And Iris Rivera again drawing another foul. She's been doing a great job following all these shots, getting the rebounds, and drawing the fouls. I would love to see how many rebounds and how many offensive rebounds she has today. Down by four, 46.8. That shot there. Down by three. 72 to 69. Every foul from here on out for both teams is going to be free throw shots. And both free throws are made by Rivera. Calmly sinking both free throws. Great release. And Staples will walk the ball off court. Yep, Staples taking her time. BCC in a 2 2 zone. Corner shot. In the corner to Rivera. Dumps it into Farden. Puts it up and lays it in. Two possession game, 30 seconds left. That's where you could have used, that's where you could have used Deborah Banks right there. Try to get in front of Farden. The position is 74 to 70. Key possession here, you get a score for BCC. Yep, the Rams knocked it out of bounds off the inbound pass. Shaves about a second off the clock. So Megan Harris. Harris, bringing the ball up court. She gotta do something quick. Harris, driving to the hole. Reverse. Oh, no good. Rebound. Rivera gets it up. Puts it up and in. And she gets fouled on the play. Foul. That's a big shot. Iris Rivera doing everything she can to keep BCC in it. She's in it to win it. If BCC has any timeouts left, they're probably going to call one after this. Now, Craig, do you miss this? And she comes. <laughs> And BCC, no matter what, they're going to have a shot here. 74 to 73. If you're BCC right now, Craig, you get a foul, right? You get a foul right off the bat. You get a foul as quickly as you can. Yeah, you do. Because even if, even, if, even if Springfield goes to the line and makes, and makes two free throws, if you're BCC with Megan Parrish and, of course, Ira Cervera, who's been all world here today, you're going to have a shot to at least tie this thing. But right now you're putting pressure on Springfield to make free throws. So it's going to be an interesting game and the most exciting and the most exciting game of the year so far. God, you can only think, Craig, with, with Deborah Banks on the floor today, this is a... Oh, this would be a win, no doubt. This is a win. It would be in the books right now. What of the game. We're going to keep it right here. You're watching us here on FR Media, channel 95 in your dial, here in the Fall River and surrounding areas, on Comcast. I'm David Cardoza. Alongside me is the Portuguese Cowboy, Craig Salvador. Portuguese Cowboy during the day, Portuguese Terror after 8 p.m. <laughs> one of my the phenomenal one. Just always. Just always, always <laughs> phenomenal. Always phenomenal. When I had the long hair and the beard going, I had the AJ Styles look going. The, the soccer mom hair. <laughs> yeah, I had to cut it because of a Twitter poll. We only talk about soccer moms at the Dirty Water Sports Hour. Anyway. <laughs> 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 I've got to tune into that pretty soon. Yes. Check your local listings for the Dirty Water Sports Hour. Long pass by Sousa, picked up by Rivera. 10 seconds on the clock. Rivera going to take it herself. They got a foul. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't foul there. No, Rivera did make a good call though, taking it herself, because if anyone was gonna take anyone was gonna be able to take that shot, it was her. So Rivera with the right idea, taking it herself. Again, she had drawn so many fouls throughout this game in that exact spot. And again, just could not get the foul going, and the ball was just this close to going in. Still not over yet though. 5.6 up to the clock, 74 to 73. What? 
You never really consider basketball to be a game of inches, but that right there was a game of inches. No, I could see what the Rams were trying to do. They were just trying to get it out of the uh, BCC side of the court. I mean, you just got to go for it. And Parrish, Parrish is down to her last foul. Oh, she's going to have to put it up. She's going to have to put it up. Put it up. And couldn't get it. Iris Rivera with a couple chances to win it here for BCC. And the Rams, the Rams escape with a victory here. What an effort by the Rams, but BCC deserved to win today. And it feels so badly for them, but what, a, what an ending. Iris Rivera with a couple chances to win it. And you kind of feel for the Lady Bay Fox today, 75 to 73. They lose this one, but what an effort. It's a shame because they deserve the victory. Lady Bayhawks lose this one 75 to 73. With 12 seconds of the play, trailing, trailing by one. Iris Tavera gets the steal, takes it to the hole, couldn't connect. The Rams go down on the other end. 5.6 left to play. Souza hits the first free throw, puts him up by two. What do you think about the decision there for Iris and Iris Rivera to not go for three, go for the win? Uh, do you think she made the right decision to go to the hole? I mean, I guess you. She was trying to play it safe because she was just looking to tie it, try to continue the game, but she had been so good from three. I think she should have just gone for the win either way. She had the right idea taking it herself, though, because she's the most clutch player right now. I think you go for the win when you only got four players and you, you're looking to go to, you're, you're trying to tie it, but you're going to go to an extra period and play five extra minutes. I think you go for the win there, being down, you know, being down a player. Yeah, she's definitely shown how good she is from three, too, so. She did make a good, like I said, she made the good decision. If anyone was going to go for the win, I think it should have been her. But, hey, that's the game. It doesn't always go your way. Well, the final score is 75-73 for the Lady Bayhawks. They lose here in heartbreaking fashion. But for Cardoza and, and the Portuguese Cowboy, uh, Craig Salvador, you've been watching Lady Bayhawks basketball. Bristol Community College Bayhawks versus Springfield Technical Community College.